That's it. That's what the Chinaman was doing. <laughs> that Michael guy's been in there forever. We should do a shot. Tequila. Would you look at what your fiance's doing? Flat of your elbow, and then you just. Bravo! <laughs> now this young man knows how to handle money. I'm sorry, Mr. Carver, but Billy must be bothering you. Quite the contrary. He reminds me of myself at his age. If anything, I'm angry at you for keeping such a delightful young man a secret all this time. You see that, Mother? I'm a delightful young man. Well, I'm sure like everyone else, Mr. Carver will eventually discover that you're nothing more than a cancerous polyp on the world's asshole. Surely the consequences of being formed in that toxic waste dump you call a uterus. Game, set, and match goes to Billy. <laughs> he got you there, Meredith. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, come on, God damn it! Other people have to pee too, you know. All yours. It's not what it looks like, Arturo. It looks like another 50 bucks to me. Well, the rich just keep getting richer, huh? Fuck you, just give me the money. I love that look. To see those wheels turning in there. <laughs> what are you thinking about? I was just thinking that I bet you can't do a hundred jumping jacks. What? <laughs> I bet I could. I bet you can't. You know I love a challenge. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about that business deal I mentioned earlier. Business deal? What's the return on my investment look like? Oh, I think you'll be very pleased. Oh, uh, excuse me, darling. I want to talk about this business deal. I wonder when I'm going to see the return on my investment. What a shame. Passed out at her own engagement party. I'm beginning to think they'll never have that champagne toast. We can't wait forever. Jesus Christ, what a pathetic sight. I'd rather be shoved into a lake with a 50 pound sack of shit tighter around my neck than be married to you. Congratulations, Carter. Thank you, thank you very much. Arturo! Get this thing into the bedroom. I don't think that's a good idea, so. I think Michael's gonna try to brain it her. What? <laughs> oh, that, well, if he does, he does. Save me the trouble. I'd rather stick my dick in a hornet's nest than have sex with this woman. But, so, do you don't think she's beautiful? Not really. Now get her into the bedroom and on top of the coats with the dead girl. Okay, sir. Come on, Miss Mother. I'll take care of you. What do you think you're doing, cozying up to Rex Carver like that? I'm just getting to know my new family. You're going to ruin everything. Why can't you just stay out of the way? I bet you'd love that, Mother. But now that Rex and I are getting along so well, I can't help but feel like you are the one who's getting in the way. You can't stop me now, Mother. And in case I haven't told you in a while, eat shit. I will stop you, Billy. Even if I have to pull your heart out with my bare hands and feed it to the ducks. I'm not gonna let you do this. What are you gonna do to stop me? I wanna put a bullet in you. <laughs> yeah, all right. Where are you gonna get a gun? Uh. 
Oh, there you are, Arturo. Now I need you to quit dicking around and go refill the champagne fountain. It's almost time to make the champagne toast. Now. God damn it. This is an over, Michael. I'm sorry about that, Mr. Snyder. Now that's what I call a womb with a view. What are you doing with that knife? Billy? Yes? Would you like to make out with me? No, it's not because you want to play the game. It's going to be someone. It's going to be Billy. Billy. 